squat. She fucking killed me. That is the hardest squat session I've done. Honest to God, in could could be years. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, fight it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. They are big fans. Thank you. <laughs> and my wife. And your cats. Oh. Yeah, yeah, cats. Hey, dude. Hi. Hey. Hey, look, I heard you're doing back squats with me. Yeah. Where you go? I know. I, I went to the two food booth and they said, what do you want? I said, anything that Maddie is Oh. Look at that shit. Okay, what do you have for back squats? Can I find three? Yes. Uh, Hold on. Mine are supposed to be in an ideal world at 160, which is like 85%. Oh my god. That's in an ideal world. I don't know if that's realistic for this day though. Do the 10 by 3, you think you're gonna. No, I'll do the 10 by 3. Like, 160 is a great workout for me. Oh, I might not survive it. So, if you can do 160, at least one of them. But I've been doing pause squats, so I'll do pause triples. I honestly, I feel more confident pausing right now because I've been doing it for the past month. I'm almost scared to bounce. So, okay, All right, I was going to use a bench bar anyway, so if you want to share a bar, we can do that. Oh my God, that'd be great, yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I'm going to have to duck down for you, but whatever. So it's going to be like three and a half squats. So I have to quarter squat it out, three pause squats, then quarter squat it in. Get your cab races in, people. It's not like, I mean... Okay, we do a gather step here. I'm yamming. I feel like you should talk wood after saying that. I might lift barefoot. I think I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Look what I got for us. Oh there we go. That's a weightlifter for you right there. Yeah. Crossfitters wouldn't dare. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go barefoot. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Still got some poundage to go. The splish. The splish is weird, is it not? Yeah, it's really weird. I, I actually, I went for a PR pause. And I was 20 pounds under what I wanted to get and it was really slow and I felt the ground give. It was probably like... Listen, we can fudge we can the numbers a little if necessary today. Oh. Such a such a bro thing to know. 135, 225, 315, 405, 495. Because it's just gym bro culture, bro. You know what I'm saying? But how many plates you lift? Yeah, dude? exactly. Three plates. Oh me? I just hit two plates on bench the other day. Three plates. Three plates. Three plates. Make an appearance, would you? Ugh. Yeah, we got a two-hour class coming up, you know? It's you first really? one here. Hey, well, well, it's a class. It's more mini-games. Uh, dude, I'm like, Maddie, what are we doing today? She's doing 10 sets and three squats. I'm like, cool. She's like, well, the weight that I'm doing is 160 kilos. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? So is she, is she outlifting you? No, we're doing the same exact weight. Oh, and I'm like, this is going to be a great workout. Did you already go? Already no, we're about to, we're warming up. Oh, yeah, yeah. 300 pounds and shit, huh? Yeah. Okay. Good luck. Good luck, my friend. Peace be with you. Yappa. I want to know about your squats, like your history with squats. Terrible. 
I remember one meet, dude. I've been I've been following you for a while because I've been in weightlifting since 2013, and you were on the scene like right then, doing going to worlds and shit. And I remember yeah. there was a Instagram post that you made. You're like, I'm never missing a clean again because you you were bombing or no, you weren't bombing. You were just missing attempts off of cleans, which is yeah, like rare and make one out of three every time. And it's rare in weightlifting to see a miss clean. Very rare, like at the, at the elite level where you're at. So what did you do from then? Like, when I went up a weight class, yeah, I actually started eating because I was a 63 at 57, which is uh-huh. silly. Um, and honestly, I stopped skipping squats. Like I, when I first started, I saw them as an accessory, yeah. not as like a mandatory like you squat or you snatch clean and jerk and you also squat and pull I was like "Eh, I don't have time today I'm not going to do them which was also silly but I had no guidance but I just really started hammering squats and then that got me a little bit and then I like paid more attention to how I squat and that's really what like what like what like what (laughs) I'm always very quad dominant in everything because I'm used to just like being on my toes and being powerful from my toes so it's really hard for me to learn to keep my heels down and have any amount of tension through like my posterior chain and then once I started focusing on that and built some of this up a little bit more it helped a lot did you feel like your pull off the floor felt better once you squatted that's everything felt better this is crazy I've been doing these low pause squats for a while I was like no I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut my squats short and see what I can back squat and it it just didn't translate for me for the snatch and uh, I've been snatching like once or twice a week for the past four weeks but I've been doing these pause squats three times a week and my snatch went up like and yesterday I did that, that 300 pound snatch and that was like purely because I've been pausing and what's interesting is you feel like, okay, you have to maintain this upright posture. And then when you come out of the hole, it's like you're doing the best posture pull you can. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're like, you're pulling with the bar up here, but it's the best posture, so. I believe that for me, front squats have the most carryover to lift. Cause it's just like, I don't know. Back squats are always difficult, I think for long limb people. Pausing definitely helps because you can't get away with like shifting and wiggling your way out of it. But front squats for me, help a lot. Okay, do we want to stay rigorous with rest? That's okay, that's, that's my next thing. I usually do two minute rest, like like two minutes, like sit down for two minutes, then take the next set. Otherwise it takes So it'll be forever. it'll be like 30 minutes total then, right? Because it's not every two minutes, it's squat, then two minutes. Gotcha. And then if that starts to get like too rough and I don't feel recovered, I'll make it a little longer. Okay. So it's a loose two minutes. Wow, this is gonna be tough. Seriously, this is one of the, this is like an actual squat workout. I, what I've been doing is like almost no working sets. I'm just going for a one rep. This is the shit that actually makes a difference. You got it. So good. <laughs> <laughs> it's be so good for us. That's pretty impressive job. Yeah. She's 10% done, so. Ten, yeah. They career, they so career half about. 35 minutes. <laughs> Two done. Are you having to go up now? No, no, we're t- it's, it's a cross. Okay. So this style of squat training is actually probably more valuable when you're like in the thick of training. Um, and, and you would call these sets you a cross. You pick a weight and you go across. Um, and then from here you can manipulate each set. You can go, like if you wanted to progress, you would go, you know, five sets at a certain weight, five sets at another weight, whatever. There's so many different combinations and permutations you can do when programming. Let's go. One rep at a time. Go. Perfect. Effort, effort, effort. Effort. Come on, girl. 
Effort. Effort. There we go. Lord. Very impressive. Very impressive. Good to see you. Every rep's gotta have big effort. Come on. Let's go. Yep. Come on. Good. In the way. Watch her, we're, yeah, we're sharing a bar. Better, better. <laughs> <laughs> I think you look good, dude. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that looks awful. That looks horrible, dude. Come on. Nice, Maddie. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Good. Ooh. Push early, get ready for it. Go. Yeah, just mind you, this is Maddie's second session, so it is nice to have a partner for real. Especially doing like the same workout. Like it's it's nice to have a person, a human body, <laughs> but if they're not doing the same thing, it's like you can't commiserate. Yeah. Because usually at least I'm like, all right, one more set, then it's only four more. One more, and then it's only three more. <laughs> <laughs> That's the shit I used to do in swimming. Terrible. Yeah, you just convince yourself into like weird math problem. <laughs> you can't say, all right, set number five, because then you're like, God damn. <laughs> yeah, If this was a live chat, I'd be like, chat, what do you think? Chat would obviously say go up. But yeah, if I did have a live chat, they'd be like, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Spamming go up into the chat. It's so funny, like, I'll do live streams on Instagram. And I'll be like, dude, I'll give in to like serious peer pressure. Like, if the chat was like, smoke meth, smoke meth, I'd be like, all right, fine. All right, I guess we gotta smoke meth. Just this one. Chat, chat should I smoke meth? Chat, should I smoke meth? <laughs> Anything with volume in, in, in weightlifting specifically, it's like you have to give more effort for every rep. Right, your brain is gonna trick you into putting in the same effort, but you have to like, okay, first rep, wow, that was easy, I'm gonna put in the same effort, and then the second rep's gonna hit you harder, because you're tired and you don't feel it. That's one of the cues that I yell at myself in the gym is either effort or energy. Like between doubles especially. Especially like if the first one's real good, you're like, oh, easy. And that's when you fuck up, yeah. Especially the snatch. I have done a snatch double where the first one was like, if there was an RPE scale, it was an RPE six. Yep. And then I'll fucking go and put the same amount of effort and I'll miss. So it is a huge cue for me um, when I'm squatting heavy or doing anything heavy where I just go effort, 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 more, more, more. Chat. We, wait, what is it? It's like, we take those chat. Or what is, you know what I'm saying? All those like live stream sayings. I don't remember. Poggers. <laughs> hey, this stuff's about to be poggers. Yo, pause squats are so OP. Guys, leave a comment if this squat's about to be poggers. They, dude, they straight up nerfed low bar squatting. Low bar squatting used to be super OP and then they fucking came in and the devs just nerfed it. <laughs> Only 
after this set, three more? No. Oh. <laughs> after this set, four more. Why'd you do that to me? <laughs> Let's straight up drink chocolate milk after this. I will grow up and I will love it. <laughs> it's like... Bro, like a fucking quart of fair chocolate Fairlife, fair dog. Oh. Get off me. That one got me bad, dude. That one got me bad. Holy shit. <laughs> go, go, go. Yes, good. More now. Go, go, go. I have like no qualms with giving you a big trap slap. You got traps, You'll have a trap slap. Feels right. Zach, how many are left? One more and then three more. And well then three, but now you have one more and then two. That sounds so much better than one more than three. <laughs> Don't lose focus. <laughs> Come on, girl, let's go. Yep. Oh. Come on. Don't let loose. Push early. Push, push, push. That was good, Rev. That was it right there. You nailed it. Effort. Same thing, but effort. Go. You could tell me what your best in order, what your reps were as far as quality. Two, one, three. Yeah. Do you have this thing where you like, <laughs> you miss groove a little bit, and then you grind through the middle, and then your second rep, perfect, minimal grind, and less energy for it too. Third I, rep, just trying to survive. Yeah. That one was the one right there. Dude. What happened? That was volley. That was where I feel. That was a. F Everything from here on out is what I, I call a fuck you set. Yeah, but it's only one more than one more. Anybody can do one more and then one more. Fuck, man. Holy shit. Okay, let's do this. Jackson. <laughs> Shout out Chubbies for the fit. Like and subscribe. Swipe up, get your merch. Oh, the Use code Zach Talender, get 10% off. That's not true. <laughs> Bro, I'm delusional right now. Should I just do six? Should I just do six? I gotta go now. I gotta do this. Alright, 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 alright. Wait. If you do six, I'll do six, but I'll Okay. Yes. 
zero more plus zero more. Bro, oh, she fucking killed me. This is not a, this is not clickbait. That is the hardest squat session I've done. Honest to God, in could could be years, dude. Want this guy? Yeah. Okay, but if you fall back down, you're just gonna dump it, right? Yeah. Go, 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 easy. Yes, 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 yes. Fight, easy, 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 easy. Yes, make every rep easy. Come on. Go, go, go. Yes. Come on, man. Come on. Man. Come on. Come on. Go, go, go. Yes. Holy shit, you can do this. You can fucking do this. Come on. Go, 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 go. Come on, man. Come on. One more, one more, one more. Come on. Come on. Yes. Come on, fight for it. Come on. Ah. God damn it! Oh, you're so close. <laughs> that was fucking badass. I don't give a fuck, dude. That was badass. That I was sick. PR5. Is it really? Yeah, I don't ever do fives. But since I only made five, well, you'd be like, she's gonna, she's gonna be mad at me. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. That was, honest to God, one of the hardest squat sessions, if not the hardest squat session I've done in years, for real. Are you and uh, yeah, oh yeah. Well, it's like if I was doing, you know, a set or three sets, yeah. it would have been like, oh, that was a good session. But like I said, you know, once you once we got up to set seven, I was like, everything from here on out is a fuck you set. So yeah. uh, I'm really. <laughs> oh. uh, I'm happy that uh, Maddie was able to push me and that I was able to push Maddie that you got yeah. a PR5. Technically. Yeah. Um, be on the lookout for Maddie at Worlds in uh, four or five weeks. I don't know. Sometime. Yeah, at some point. Um, also follow her on Instagram. She's the best weightlifter in the world in my opinion. Stop! I'm very biased though. Stop. Don't cry. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.